This movie was made possible by Backcountry PPG. We are a full-service paramotor training and sales company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. From beginner training to finding your next performance glider and more exciting programs on the way, visit BackcountryPPG.com to start your journey with us today. What's up? I'm Judson. I'm a, I wouldn't say professional paraglider, but I've been flying for a little while and I know what's going on behind me. We're in Nepal on holy day. You can tell it's holy day because my face is covered in paint. I booked a tandem flight in Nepal and we're on top of a mountain around a bunch of tandem pilots about to go flying. I pretend I know nothing, but internally I know everything. Like that? It's not it. Anyway. Okay, 19th Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing crazy, just a couple of helis or something, you know? Yeah, just a couple of acrobatics. Uh, I know it's uh, safety first. Of course. Should I ask for a certain pilot when I sign up or just leave that to you? Mm, just leave it on me. Okay. So today, Mo and I took our motorcycles up to the paragliding launch in... Where, Pokhara? Yeah, yeah. we're in Pokhara. They do a lot of tandems here. And we were just kind of looking at each other. I think at about the same time, we're like, we should go do a tandem. As passengers, we should go pay for a tandem and see what the experience is like as advanced and immediate paraglider pilots. So that's what we're doing today. Well, actually, tomorrow. How do you feel? Do you trust them? I trust me more than them. <laughs> And so my tandem paragliding journey in Nepal began. We met our pilots at the office somewhere around 9.15, filled out some paperwork, basically just a waiver, and then it was off to the shuttle van. This would take us from downtown Pokhara up to the launch site. We're in the van to launch. I'm a little nervous, I'm really hot. As we started to leave town, I noticed many other vans with paragliders on the roof. It seemed like a really popular day to go flying, and I hoped that the amount of people going wouldn't affect our flight. We're going gliding then. Wait, I thought it was parasailing. 100% chance of parasailing. Dude. Even though I have a lot of experience flying, I was starting to feel kind of nervous as we arrived at launch. Full power. We have to wait for our turn, okay? Okay, how long? It's depend upon the wind and the number, which number we are in. Okay. Maybe probably half an hour. Learning I would have about half an hour before we took off to hang out and watch made me feel a little bit better though. The day before we only really saw the last tandem take off, so I was excited to see how everyone else was operating. We got excited. We got the two remaining acro pilots <laughs> in Pogra. So it's super crowded. It's holy day. H-O-L-I. It's the day where they throw paint. <laughs> That'll be in the video about Nepal. You'll see that. I don't have paint on me yet. Winnie, happy Oli. Happy Oli. On you? Yeah, yeah brother. Hit me. <laughs> ah! You want some? Hit me. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna fly from this place. Fun story, side note. That's Yana. Mo and I came up here yesterday on the motorcycles just to check it out and silently judge people. You had a mediocre experience? Yeah, I would say mediocre bad experience. We crashed to the floor. <laughs> it, was, it was very bad for me, so I tried it again today with you guys. Yeah, so then she needed a ride to the bottom of the mountain. You got on the back of Mo's bike. We went over to that tower over there. And then we called our friend Dylan, who knows all of the tandem pilots and has been flying tandems for like 15 years here. And was like, give us the best pilots. And we got three. Yeah, we got three. Two the remaining. safest for me and the most dangerous ones for no, you. No, we got the two acro pilots left here and the safest one for you. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Okay, cool. So, you ready? I'm super excited and super looking forward. Looking forward to paragliding. Yeah. Being in the air, feeling so free. Okay. Like a bird. Been there. With all the green color in my face. <laughs> you have got um, pink and blue. Fits you. It matches my outfit yeah. and my yeah. and your bracelet. Synchronicity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going flying. Do you have any advice for me? Very good, brother. It makes your day bright. Yo, see you. Thank you for the colors. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, we're making a video. I, I booked a tandem flight. Kill. What should I do? <laughs> you can do something like crazy there, you know, in there. It's like pull strings, take a wrap. <laughs> After some time on the launch, assessing the conditions for myself and talking to the locals, I was feeling a little bit more comfortable about going on my tandem flight. And pretty soon it was time for our takeoff. They're in the clouds. Are you going that high? I hope. Yeah? 
Are you? Maybe? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> They're all in a thermal. Do you have any advice before any takeoff? Advice, yeah. Honestly, just try to breathe and be present. The biggest thing is like, don't sit down. There's gonna be a point where you're like, we're flying, but you're not quite flying yet. Just continue to run yeah. down the mountain. Breathe, yeah. smile, have fun. I will! Yes. Yes. Look, mom, I'm into Paul with Mo. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure my experience was as authentic as possible, I tried to pretend I just knew absolutely well, nothing about paragliding. I found that the hardest part was honestly just not using any okay? paragliding yeah, lingo. Good. Okay, and blowing my cover. Me. Let's go. What was your name again? One more time. Sangram. Sangram. You just man? Judson. Judson, yes. Yeah. Nice meeting you. We're gonna fly together. My pilot is currently laying out our wing. We got a gin fuse 41. Are you nervous? <laughs> Not much. I'm nervous to make you happy. No. <laughs> You're gonna make me so happy, dude. I wanna make you so happy. I think you will. They're doing flips over there. I think it's I think it's my turn. No tangles in the strings. A little bit. Okay, now run. Run, run, run. Run, continue running. Okay. Perfect. We are in the air, buddy. Yes. How was it? Oh, it's easy. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Dude, this is so nice. <laughs> so smooth, so different. Oh, get up! Oh yeah. Pizza. <laughs> we are flying tandem in Nepal. You can still sort of see the mountains. Mm -hmm. It's already covered by the cloud. Yeah, but you know how to get up there. Mm. How many tandems do you do a day? Uh, this time one or twice. Okay, so you take people on a longer flight. Mm -hmm. Nice. You enjoy it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is so cool. Yeah, you're good. Look back here. Uh, yeah. No, you can. Oh. You want to see your top? No, no, you're good. I got, I got mine. That's uh, for the view. Quite the move. Never seen that before. It's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. It's a bird. Mm -hmm. We're going up. Yeah, bro! <laughs> dude, we're up. We're not flying, but we're flying. There's a bird. Getting up here, how high do you think we are? Around like 2,000. Okay. 19 and 2,000. It took off from there. Yeah. But dude, I got space paint on, I forgot about that. <laughs> got too excited by the thermal. Mm -hmm. I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> there's a bird. Oh, there's where the bird is. So admittedly at first, the feeling of not being in control under a paraglider was a little bit unnerving. But after a few minutes in the air with Sangram, I was starting to feel a lot more comfortable. He definitely gave me the impression that it wasn't his first time, especially the way I saw him use his GoPro stick. So I honestly just sat back and enjoyed not having to fly, but still being in the air. But a little later in my flight, we started flying towards a cloud. We're going towards that cloud? Uh-huh. There's a glider in it. Yeah. I've flown around plenty of clouds, but never one this big, and I was starting to feel the infamous cloud suck, us getting pulled up into this thing. And I started getting, getting kind of jittery, because I wasn't sure we're how we were going to get out. First time getting cloud sucked. Okay, can you hold it on the side? On the side. As the horizon started ready. getting hazy, because Sangram had me hold close. the risers and brace for the cloud suck, which okay. made me even more nervous, because I wasn't sure what we were about oh, to get yeah. into, and it started getting a little bit more turbulent than it had been the rest of the flight. Wow. But it turned out he had planned to go there and it was just an opportunity to do a really steep nose down spiral and pull a bunch of G's. This isn't a maneuver I really ever do because it just burns a lot of altitude, but if you're in quite a bit of lift, you can do it for a while and just feel that force. And when you don't have the responsibility of piloting, it's a very unique feeling. Nice dude, nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's how you get out of the cloud? <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, okay. oh, you can see it going up. We were just saying hi to that cloud right there. That's a really big one. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> you go up in there. We're vibing. We're on our way to landing, I assume. Hey. Hey. Nice, dude. Look down. Raise your hand, fly like a bird, both hands. Just hold it like that. Ooh. Oh, my turn. But don't put too much, okay? Okay. Feel the lift, okay? Okay. Straight away. You, I'm free. He's taking my job away. Hope not. Where do you want to go? What are we going to do? Can I do wing overs? Ah, uh, okay. From wing over to no. sat. You're going to go wing over to sat? Yeah. Okay. okay. One side here with the one hand. Here? Uh, here. And keep your leg inside, okay? Okay. Say hello to him. What's up? What's up, Birdie? Birdie, 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 Birdie! No, it's okay, it's okay. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. No problem. Take it easy, okay? Take it easy. Stand up. Dude. That's perfect. That's. <laughs> How was Sick, it? dude, it was great. Whoa. Can I go over there now? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. How was that? That was so cool. That was oh, actually yeah, sick. Dude, I did a hug. <laughs> I had so much fun. I it, it was way more enjoyable than I thought it would be. We were doing synchronized thermaling, synchronized tandem, macro, synchronized wing overs, sads. He wouldn't tell me when we were gonna do the sat, and then I missed the weight shift. He had a flappy tip. <laughs> Super cool! How did you enjoy your first tandem flight? It was great. I was holding two selfie sticks and a GoPro <laughs> at once. I had one under my leg, one in my hand, and my GoPro in my hand. It was great. How'd your heli go? It went good. It needed to be done trims out, but he couldn't stall it trims out. So it was like trying to find this happy medium in the trimmers, but he got two, he crushed it for 42. Okay, I'm gonna conclude our video. How do you get experience? Very good experience. Thank you so much. Yes, wonderful. Had a fantastic experience as a solo pilot to go do that. Maybe just do it for fun and don't tell anyone. It was a vibe. Uh, at Gotsmo Chalk. Right here. Try and figure out that spelling. That's your Instagram right there. You gonna say it? Okay. <laughs> Drop a comment if we should go do one in the United States. I don't know if I could get away with those easy stories. But until the next one, fly safe, fly good, don't suck. Have a great week. Hit the lens. <laughs>